What's up, COA family? It's your man's C. Mir, C from the D, coming at you with everything that's real. How you doing? How you doing? How's your day going? Hopefully, your day is going well. My day is going excellent. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Today is very sunny out here in Detroit, Michigan. It is currently 60, between 67 and 70 degrees which is wonderful from the weather we've been having the last couple of days with the snow and everything. So all the snow is gone and we feeling good in the hood today. So uh, today, your man C, Mill C from the D would like to talk to you about the narcissistic witch. The narcissistic witch is very, very conniving. All her motives are very calculated. They are deceitful. They are backstabbing. Nothing is good about the narcissistic witch or the narcissistic warlock. Let's not forget about them too. You know what I'm saying? Because they practice in witchcraft too. You know what I'm saying? They just a male practicing witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? But all, all their intentions is evil. So, let me share a few things with you or what not to do around these type of people. Do not share any of your information. Do not leave any of your belongings because they can use those as a conduit to cast a spell on you. Do not tell any of your personal information. Do not tell where your whereabouts will be. Do not share anything about your loved ones. These people are so calculated with it, you wouldn't believe it. You can't share stuff with them because they're going to use it on a personal note. You know what I'm saying? They're going to use it on a personal level. To cast a spell on you, some form of an occult like, you know what I'm saying, um, spell or cast some demons on you, you have to be very aware, you know what I'm saying, of these type of narcissistic witches or narcissistic warlocks because they ain't playing no games. They are smiling your face a hundred times over. But that smile is very, very deceptive. That smile is very costly to you. You know what I'm saying? If you be before, you know, if you become one of their victims, you know what I'm saying? Because they ain't playing no games, man. They looking to cast spells. They looking to do B.L.'s and Bob's work. They looking to do the devil's work. So, they already hate you because you have a special grind and a light about yourself. You know what I'm saying? That they don't possess. So they highly upset. They highly upset that their chances of going to heaven because they are already really in their heart. They already know. They didn't did so much diabolical stuff. They didn't cast so many spells on people and stab so many people in the back. They, in their mind, in their spirit, they feel like their chances of going to heaven is slim to none. So they don't really care. Because they didn't did all type of evil deed in the book. They didn't slept with four or five of your closest friends and family members. They didn't cast spells on you. They didn't stole stuff from you and gave it to other people. You know what I'm saying? If they can, they'll steal money from you or get you to waste your money. You know what I'm saying? These narcissistic witches and warlocks are an abomination to humankind. You know what I'm saying? To everything that's good that God has created. They don't... They don't mean nobody no good whatsoever. They will go to the candle stores and they will buy more books. They will buy more spells. And when I say that, they'll pay somebody else to put a spell on you. Don't tell them your full name because some spells, they need a piece of your belongings. Some spells, they just need your full name. Some spells, they can use a piece of your hair or a sock or your drawers or panties or a bra or a comb or so you know a piece of your clothing or something that's why it's best it, it behooves you to just stay away from these type of people you know what i'm saying these people is like the worst the narcissistic witch and the narcissistic warlock do not play no games with these people man i'm telling you when i say guard your boundaries i mean that to the 20th power not even the 10th power to the 20th power they got they uh flying monkeys out here trying to sap up information people you think you cool with after you done went through a situation with the narcissistic witch or the narcissistic warlock and they got they got they monkey they got they flying monkeys out there 
You know what I'm saying? Soaking up information for them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just can't win if you deal with anybody from that realm, from that party, from that group of people to where the debauchery took place, where the narcissist displaced you and went behind your back and slept with every damn body in the book. You know what I'm saying? They went against you. They was talking down on you. You know what I'm saying? They was letting people in the house behind your back. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, trust me, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't trust the narcissistic warlock and the narcissistic witch. When they get together, they're going to do everything under the sun against you. Believe you me. You know what I'm saying? So don't trust none of them. You know what I'm saying? Don't trust they said. They're going to put the smear campaign out on you. And they're going to have all the dummies and your group bang right into it because they scared of them. They done brainwashed them. They done put spells on them too. But they so stupid, they can't see it. So they're going to believe everything the narcissistic warlock got to say or the narcissistic witch. So this your man's C. Mill telling you what's real. Do not trust the narcissistic witch or warlock. Stay away. They cast spells and they put curses on people constantly for no reason. So... You want your life to be a good life, or you want your life to be a life that's like you fighting up a hill that got oil poured all on the side of it, and it's made out of ceramic tile. It's hard. It's going to be hard to get up that hill. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm just telling you. Stay away. Stay away, man. It ain't no good for you. I'm telling you. This your man's C. Mill. Coming at you with a great, great spool of information. If you listening to me and you guarding your energy right, man, and you listening and you making all this stuff applicable to your life, man, you'll be in a better situation, man. A hundred percent, man. I'm talking about a billion percent. Because these people, they ain't right. You know what I'm saying? They don't fight the good fight. They don't fight fear. That's why they doing witchcraft because they can't stand to come up against. They can't go against you because you going at it with a strong mind. You going at it with the, 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 the right grind, the heavenly grind. You going at it with all righteous purposes because you know, okay, if I work hard, if I'm being diligent, if I go to school, if I take a trade, if I open a business and be an entrepreneur, I know the Lord God is with me. He's going to open up doors for me that he said he won't open up for nobody else that ain't with him. So that is a perk of being part of the kingdom of God, of Jesus Christ, of Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh, Yahshua, El Shaddai, Elohim, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and all the angels of heaven and the seven spirits of God. And the 24 elders that sit behind God. This is a perk. So they riding without that perk. So they want to cheat because they're not going about it the honest way. They're not living the honest way. They're not thinking with an honest mindset. So they can't go up against you square up and square up. They got to cheat. So they got to cast spells. They got to make it to their advantage. And put you at a disadvantage at the same time. If you're not into your word. If you're not reading your Bible. Or you're not saying your prayers. And guarding your energy. Guarding your spirit. Then it can air the work. But if you're doing all the stuff right, then it can't mess with you. So make sure you say your prayers and pray against witchcraft and voodoo. Pray against narcissistic warlocks. Pray against narcissistic witches. I am telling you, this is very vital to your existence, to your family's existence. Listen to your man, C. Mill. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your loved ones, man. Hey, say a prayer for everybody that's good in your life. Say a prayer for the ones that ain't good in your life, that they turn from their wicked ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Y'all have a blessed one. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. It's your man's C. Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. Trust and believe me when I tell you about these things. I know firsthand. So I got a lot of friends, a lot of family that I just don't deal with anymore because I went through some crazy, crazy stuff. A lot of backstabbing, a lot of talking down, a lot of people doing stuff that they ain't had no business doing. But I'm going to share this with you. I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm better than ever. 
God has opened the doors for me that otherwise, I'm telling you, without him, I just couldn't even visualize these things happening for me. So I'm telling you, stay with the word of God, man. You can still live and be happy and still have fun. I'm telling you. The old ways of how people thought about church folks, that's dead because it was wrong because you got to live. You got to be a part of taking a deep breath and having fun and enjoying it and working hard and helping other people out. You know what I'm saying? Giving to charity, all that stuff. You got to do all that stuff. If you're a true child of God, if you're a true, you know, child of the light, you know what I'm saying? If you are a true child of the light, you have to do all these things. You have to say prayers. You got to read your Bible scripture. You got to put time in with God. You got to. Or else the witchcraft and the warlock spells will work. So trust and believe me when I tell you, in the name of Jesus Christ, man, you know what I'm saying? We bind and rebuke all curses from the all COL family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody that's on this platform, everybody that's subscribed, and I ain't saying it on the corner stuff, I'm saying it for real. That's a part of this family. We bind and rebuke all curses and all witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of the resurrection. And that's real. So y'all have a blessed one. Enjoy your family. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your creator. Enjoy your day. And hit that like and hit that subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a blessed one, man. Be good and be happy, man. Stay in positive energy. Positive energy is the best energy. This your man, C. Mill. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Thanks for tuning in, man. Peace. Be blessed.